Welcome to my channel, Outside the Levees, where the levees end, the fun begins. I'm Jared Serenay, and today I'm heading to the St. Bernard Seafood Market in Hopedale, Louisiana. This market gives the public an opportunity to buy products straight from the fishermen and to sample some of the best seafood in the world. Now let's get it started. We got Hot Rod here. Yes, sir. How you doing today? Local chefs, owner of Hot Rod. Seasons. Look at that shrimp bar. Where are these shrimp from? From here, from St. Bernard, Louisiana, baby. What? St. Bernard? St. Bernard does. Y'all catch Bernard, shrimp like brother. that in St. Bernard? We, we always did catch them. It was a secret. Nobody knew about it. Some we kept shrimp. All right, y'all, we back in St. Bernard. We at the seafood market. They do these about once a season, one in spring, one in the fall. We're here at the fall one today. Got my buddy Hot Rod with me. We're gonna be buying some seafood. We're gonna be hearing about some seafood. We're gonna be hearing about St. Bernard. But most importantly, we're gonna be cooking fresh seafood. All right, we got some beautiful cauliflower. Look at these eggplants, my Lord. Look at that eggplant. That's, that's a perfect eggplant. One thing about St. Bernard is it's Mississippi River alluvial soil. So we have all those nutrients built up into our soils from the river running over its banks for years and years and years and years. And we've got very healthy soils here in St. Bernard. That's why you see some of this beautiful vegetables that are grown here. There he is. Yeah, you're right. Always getting it right, huh, baby? Oh, you know. Dang, that looks good. Authentic got in there, bro. We got Patton's hot sausage, some Italian sausage, a little smoked sausage. We ain't put the shrimp in yet, that's for later. Oh my lord, what are you making? A little jambalaya. Dang. Pure Slenio recipe passed down from my papa down to me. So a lot of people think about jambalaya and it's brown, but it looks like yours is a little red. Huh? Not up in here. <laughs> Not up in here. We got more of the Creole. More of the Creole effects to it than the cajuns. What's that? Family affair, baby. Family affair. Family affair. Decide to uh, gonna borrow shrimp. Well, they're gonna get it straight off the shrimp bowl. Oh. So, give them a little taste of, of St. Bernard Parish. So, that's 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 hot rod right there. That's the guy we're with today. And this is his seafood bowl mix. Going in with his sausage. Now this, this, this is a first. I haven't seen this yet. Rosemary in the pot. It smells heavenly. Whew. Uh oh. This is not hot. Uh huh. It's all about flavor. Flavor, right? I can't take all the spice. Right. So this will give it a little, a nice taste to it. Yeah. Hot rod season, he just about got everything he needs in it. Yeah. Shrimp are getting ready to go in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How many pounds you figure that is? 50. 50 pounds? Two boxes, two 25 pound boxes. They come out, man. I don't know. You tell me. They done already? Oh, yeah. Ooh, they look good. All right, y'all. Trying Mr. Charlie Shrimp here. It's got seasoning all over it. It's got what? It's got seasoning all over it. That's because it's good seafood. What the heck? You gotta have seasoning. Oh, I like it. Oh, my God. It's like buttery soft. That's something else right there. You got your shrimp yet? Nope. Not yet. How many pounds are you getting? Uh, they say 15 can fit in there. So 15? If they can fit in all, we're going to cook more. What you going to cook? <laughs> Everything. We're going to boil them, melatons for the holidays. Ooh, yeah. shrimp melaton. Nobody talked about that one yet. <laughs> yeah, Yes, free. indeed. Yep. Awesome. You Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. How many pounds you got? 12 pounds, brother. What you going to cook with them? Let's see what Balling you got. them, baby. Balling, Balling them. them? Yeah. For the game? 
You got that right. For yes, today indeed. and tomorrow. Amen, bro. Have a good one. You too. Yeah. What you doing there, bro? Oh, we're doing getting a little shrimp prep right here. Peeling these fresh shrimp we caught off the boat. Got off the boat from Mr. Charlie Robin. And these are, what are you going to do with these? Well, these right here, we're going to put this in a jambalaya. This okay. is going to be our this main ingredient in our jambalaya. Shrimp. Yeah, okay. we're going to start off with a little shrimp stock that we have prepared already in there. And then uh, we're going to peel these shrimp. We're going to put about a pound per pack in each, uh, in the pot, let it roll. So <laughs> easy to, easy to uh, cook mix. Hell yeah. All right, y'all, now I'm on the shrimp boat. This one's called the Little Charlito. This is my buddy Charles, his boat. There's his trawl boards, here's his big cooler. Here's his wheel, throttle. He's got a cabin on this boat. Oh yeah, man. What? You got it going on in here, man. This is beautiful. Beautiful boat. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing, man. man. She's Captain not quite. Charlie she's not quite done yet, but uh, one step at a time. Beautiful. How big is this boat? She's 50 foot. And how old is it? I'll say about 1967. Wow. 31, 35. Sure. They, they're a lot bigger than he's letting on. They, yeah, they're pretty shrimp. Oh my God! Look at that, yo. Okay. They can sell themselves when people look at it. Yeah. It's hard not to say no. Right. Right. It's good that they do these little markets, you know, every little bit we sell, that's yeah. a, a little bit less the factories get. Right. Right. Because they're the ones really hurting us. Yeah. It's not the docks hurting us because they make so much a pound and they got to. They got a lot of expenses like right. we do. Right. But uh yeah, just a sad situation. All right, now Charles is an eighth generation commercial fisherman. Yeah, I don't even know how to wrap my head around that, but that's the kind of thing we have here in St. Bernard Parish. One of those things that we're just so proud of and we'd love for y'all to come down and see. So visit what I got for y'all, the information down below to come see us here in St. Bernard. We got hotels, we got fishing camps, we got all the places to stay. We got all the restaurants we need. And if you follow along the parish's Facebook page or the tourism Facebook page, you'll know when we have another one of these seafood markets as well. All right, so look, we got our uh, shrimp stock come to a bowl, Ooh. and we're gonna we're gonna add our uh, jambalaya mix, which all of the vegetables and everything in here with the rice. Oh wow! So you don't even have to add. Don't any even look. This is the easiest jambalaya that you're ever gonna make. So all we're right, gonna let that. this come back to a bowl. We're gonna stir it up. You can see those vegetables coming up to the top, all dehydrated. It's all there for you. Real easy to cook. We're gonna let it come to a bowl. We're gonna add our shrimp, let it come back to a bowl real quick, and then let it simmer for 20 minutes, and we'll be ready to go. In the meantime, we got our we got some uh, a little bit of Holy Trinity working right here, and some olive oil with some garlic, and we're gonna add our uh, we're gonna add our uh, marinated tequila lime shrimp to this, and we're gonna make a tequila lime shrimp that's gonna be off the chain today, guys. It's gonna be crazy good. Let that all cook down. Cook it down with a little bit of side of uh, hot rice. So what all did you have in the bag? All I had in the bag, Jared, was shrimp and tequila lime. Okay, so you didn't even add this lime? Nope, didn't That's add good. that yet. I'm gonna okay. add this in a little while. Got it. Oh, partner. Man, 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 I love San Bernard. I'll be honest. Yeah, I, I, I just don't own very many places in the world where this could actually be going on. They're doing oysters over there, hot rocks cooking shrimp. We got people coming from all over the New Orleans area today to buy fresh shrimp. All right, we're gonna add our fresh shrimp to this that we just peeled. We're gonna stir that in, let it come back to a bowl real quick, and then let it simmer for 20 minutes. And we'll be ready to eat some shrimp jambalaya, baby. Look out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Bro, that's some minutes. big shrimp, bro. That's some nice looking shrimp right that's, there. That's, Only in St. Bernard, baby. That's yeah. what you get down here. That's some good looking shrimp, man. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. Oh, All the flavor. Look at that right there. I eat all that. I smell all that. Oh, 
<laughs> What's this for? Oh, yeah, he's like funny. sucking a crawfish, is Oh! <laughs> you can't beat him. Oh, I know. I used to do that. I can't do it. I got to go fast. I can't do it. I can't do it. Then I'm gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna put my little pre-made hot rice in here. So the hot rice is the Holy Trinity with butter, um, chicken broth, mushrooms, and jalapeno. Huh. So we're gonna let that cook down in here. Right. Got that pre-made. I'm gonna cook that on the side. That's gonna be a nice little dish right here. We're gonna separate these two though. We're not gonna mix them together right now. Right. So we got the trifecta right here, Jared. Oh my God. You got some tequila lime shrimp. You got some shrimp That's jambalaya. That's a tequila lime, yep. shrimp jambalaya, and this is what you call That's hot the, rice. Hot rice. That's it. All right. Well. Give it a try. I just had the Creole, so let's go with the brown jambalaya, seafood jambalaya. Yep. Oh my God. That's a jambalaya mix. That's a mix. Straight out the Yo, bag. You seen it. Don't hate on a mix. Don't you even dare think about hating on the mix because that is phenomenal, y'all. He's going in for All the tequila right. lime tequila shrimp. Tequila lime shrimp. If you are thinking about something like a shrimp taco, that's it. That's the one right there. And the hot rice. Mm. So, what y'all just seen, we went up to the boat. Bought it directly from the fisherman. Brought it over here. You seen hot rod peeling it. Cooked it right here. Here in St. Bernard, these are the things that we grow up doing. These are the things that we celebrate and appreciate. And that's why you need to come visit St. Bernard right there. Come down to see us, y'all.